Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Gofa Nelunguva with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. We post weekly content. Feel free to subscribe and enjoy. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing being like in commenting sharing being friendly whatever i do i'm very very grateful so thank you i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so a big shout out to the person that suggested this today i'm going to be reacting to the etiquettes of supplicating to allah dr zaki naik i think i reacted to a longer version of this talking about where what time you can where and what time you can supplicate to god so without wasting time let's get into the video I'd like to ask you, Dr. Zakir, if you could explain what are the etiquettes of supplicating towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The person should remember that he should only ask from Allah and no one else. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fatiha, chapter number one, verse number five, They alone we worship, they alone we ask for help. You should ask only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in Surah Ghafir, chapter number 40, verse number 60, you ask me and I will answer your prayer. You can ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything. Even if it be a small thing or a big thing, no problem. You can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything. And furthermore, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with humbleness and with humility. That's point number three. Point number four, when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should ask with confirmed hope that inshallah, Allah is going to answer our supplication. Number five, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with fear. We should ask with taqwa, fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number six, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with extreme longingness that inshallah we long this and he will answer our prayer. Besides these six points, there are some additional things which are important when a person supplicates. It's preferable, for example, a person should preferably be in wudu, in ablution. It's not a fard. He can even supplicate without being in wudu. But if he's like a person who is in prayer, it's preferable that he's in wudu. Point number two, it's preferable that he's facing the Kaaba while supplicating, though it's not a fard. Point number three, he should repeat his supplication. It's preferable to repeat as much as possible. And point number four, he should Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with single-mindedness and with longingness. As our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in a Sahih Hadith of Tirmidhi, Hadith number 3479, that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that a person should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with single-mindedness. And inshallah, Allah will answer his prayers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like a person who asks with his heart when it is toying with trifle things. Heart is not in one place. So these are some of the etiquettes of a person supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We've been given many examples of how you can supplicate, or what, rather the etiquettes of supplication. Um, I feel like it doesn't matter what your... Um, Dream. But when it comes to prayer, these are some of the things that you can actually practice on a daily basis. You're praying for something, make sure it's just that thing. Clear your mind and just have that one thing and believe God is going to do it. I mean, great, God is great at the end of the day while we're here because God wants us to be here. So there is that greatness that that's that's that exists. So when you're going there, don't what can I say? Just be sure of what you want out of that prayer is what i'm trying to say if it makes sense otherwise there's the things that he said were just um 
so simple that I don't even have to um, explain further on those things but feel free if you want to discuss uh, start a conversation about anything that you picked up from this video you can comment below and I'll try my best to write back to you but yeah I always see your comments make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video